Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and it's out. So, today, we're talking about Cole's favorite material. Ultim 1010. The beautiful honey-colored material that is actually not the easiest to print, but is incredibly satisfying to print. We really see two main grades of Ultim. That's Ultim 1010 and Ultim 9085. Ultem, U-L-T-E-M, T-M, trademark, is a trademark name, sort of like Kleenex is for tissues, you know? You can get Kleenex, it's like that brand that's really good, and it's, that's the one if you want high quality stuff, cool, go get it. Um, Ultim is the trade name for PEI, polyether imid, which is another chemical. Now, the whole thing is, Savic made this chemical, this polymer, and they're the only ones in the world that make it. So if you buy Ultim from Savic, you buy Ultim from 3D for Makers, you buy Ultim from 3D X Tech. Uh, it's all coming from the same place. You buy Ultim from Alibaba, low temp Ultim, that's not Ultim. That's definitely not Ultim. There are a lot of fakes out there. Be aware, buy it from a trusted source, like 3D X Tech, we sell their stuff. Uh, it is fantastic, high quality, very good. Ultim, it's, it's, every, it's probably on the bed of your printer. It's in this vape because it can withstand yeah. extreme temperatures and it won't absorb all the nastiness that could be byproducts. I've had these coils directly on this material accidentally and it just left a little bit of a mark. Yeah. Anything else would have just dis disintegrated. <laughs> We're talking about putting 40 amps through some tiny wires and it just handled it. It's a beast. I've seen some crazy Ultim vape nozzles before. Oh yeah, Delrin and Ultim is usually, if you have a yeah. weird yellow dip on your vape, that's that's Ultim. Yeah. If you have a weird yellow sheet on your 3D printer, there's a good chance that's PEI as well. I think the Prusas, mm -hmm. the, there's a lot of printers that come with PEI beds. Or you and can buy Including PEI our $100,000 machines. Yeah. Yeah, actually, the Aeon M2 actually comes with the, what is it, 3 8 inch thick sheet of Ultim on the bed. If you've ever used that yeah. horrendously obnoxious but extremely effective Ooh. orangey yellow tape that you have to put hey, on Jay. your glass bed. Can you bring over the Captain Tape? The Hand of Jay comes once again. We've got Captain Tape made by DuPont. It's another sort of polymer in that material, but it's very, you guys see this tape all over the place. Uh, on 3D printers, it's uh, on heat blocks a lot. You know, it's a- uh, It's a lot more places than you think. It's a lot of places. Uh, we actually see this in, I believe it was an electro, uh, what was it, it was a particle accelerator? Um, and they used a lot of Captain Tape on the, the area where the particles collided. Very, very interesting. It can be annealed, it's biocompatible for, um, you know, for implants, that's actually a thing, or surgical guides, medical tools. Uh, it is approved for food contact. That's why right it's grade. in my vape. Yep, food contact, that's it. It's going into the body. Um, it's an amorphous thermoplastic, which means it doesn't have a crystalline structure that would give it a melting point. It's just got a TG, which means after that TG, the mechanical properties are slowly gonna fail more and more and more and more and more. The TG on Ultim 1010 is Oh, 217, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. crazy. 217 yeah. Celsius. The second highest TG of any plastics that we print. It's hard to print. <laughs> and you need to take care of the filament. It's delicate filament, oh, meaning man. you can't get, you have to, don't buy the stuff if you don't have a dehydrator and a metal spool and an oven to take care of it. It saturates within 10 minutes. You leave this stuff out in the open air, it's gonna absorb that entire 0.02% and that's gonna ruin all your prints. It's it wants to warp a lot. Yeah, layer adhesion will go down. It's extremely warpy. It's actually so warpy that on lower chamber temp machines, if you print up from the bed about an inch, then you get to the second inch, then the first inch, it's gonna start cracking right there. It's literally gonna pull, the part will pull itself apart from itself. Definitely get a printer with a chamber over 180 Celsius, because that's what you need to really do this. Stuff. So it's a kind of a pain to print. Why is it so popular? I'll tell you why it's popular. It's been around for a little bit, but it's not expensive for what it is, it being a super polymer. You can get a kilo of it for- 200 bucks. And you can get a kilo of the other super polymer that's well known, Peak, for what, five, six hundred? Six, seven hundred? Yeah. Yeah. 
buy some, try it, use it, it's experiment epic. with it. Yeah. And when you do get the settings dialed in, the parts you get are second to none in terms of how gorgeous they yeah. are while still being strong. Got some parts here. Uh, we got a wing for an F1 car. Open our CF1. Mm -hmm. Just printed really quickly. I think we got some experimental material uh, from overseas and we started printing stuff. It's hard stuff. to see on camera, but the sheen is super cool. It's golden honey colored. Yeah, and you can see it in there. So this is half of a Benchy that we printed. Uh, the the full Benchy that we printed, we actually gave to the, uh, the 3D printing nerd, Joel Telling. Mm -hmm. uh, so go check out his Twitter. Uh, we'll try to post a picture here in this video of him running it over with a car. Uh, that was pretty sweet. Baby Yoda, because it's freaking Mandalorian season, you know, actually that's over now. But this is very, very cool. So this is a tube made out of Ultim 1010. One of the things I love is, depending how you print it, you can dial in the settings and get away with some really crazy stuff. So this, for example, is a very good layer adhesion on a base mode tube in Ultim 1010. You know it's good layer adhesion when the cracks go straight up through the layer. So it's all the way up there and you can see um, it's... Everyone always talks about how the weak point of 3D printing is the layer lines, one material over another. This material, when printed properly, is stronger at the layer lines where they get to bond together. So that's why you see fractures in this direction. This was vase mode. Let's see here. This stuff so... Nope. Not breaking? No. Nope. It's wet. It's That's why. It's absorbed moisture. Eee, very small percentage. But yeah, all these plastics absorb a very small percentage of moisture. Usually it's not going to be an issue uh, for most of the parts you're printing unless it's like nylon. It's going to go underwater. Uh, but that tiny, tiny percentage of moisture does really have an impact on the printing of it or the processing, which just means melting of it. When you have moisture in something and you melt it, it's going to turn to steam. If you've got a very small area and a tiny little nozzle and there's steam, it's going to come out as a pop or a snap or a crackle and that's going to ruin your print. It's going to look nasty, it's not going to have layer adhesion, it's not going to stick to the bed. Uh, you got to dry this stuff. And if it's, it's dried yeah. properly, can you see this? You can see straight through this bench and you can see oh the infill through it. Oh, that's grand. It's beautiful. And I think there are four bottom layers. We've done some really big parts in this stuff that we can't show. Um, and dude, it looks amazing when you get a thick Ultim 1010 part. Just, oh, it's beautiful. It looks like honeycomb. And there is a difference between the Ultim 1010 that you get from different manufacturers. Usually we notice uh, it's a slightly different sheen or slightly different color, a hue of the gold. Um, and the Alibaba stuff is mixed with some other totally different stuff like polycarb or something like that. Uh, so it's clear, clear of that. Get the quality stuff, made in the USA if you can. Uh, it's all made by Savic, so you're getting it from the same place. Anyway, extreme hydrolytic stability. It absorbs moisture, 0.002% or something like that. You know, you can use it underwater, you can use it in wet environments, it's not gonna break down over time. I forgot I ran over this one. Oh. <laughs> Before he actually did the video, I was like, I need to know what's gonna happen. Oh, so that was the one that we ran over. I ran over, ran I just over. took it out to my car. And, right, so Ooh. if you can see through that. It's... Look at that layer adhesion, that's fantastic. Oh, dude. Yeah, I love seeing breaks like that. 3D printed parts, when they break and they're, they're very good layer adhesion, it's so satisfying. It's like- Clean see, break too, you probably like you did, glue that back together. Yeah, you did something that a lot of people say you can't do. We're saying that it's incredibly strong, it can withstand a ton of different stuff and it's less than half the price of peak. Why isn't everyone using it? Because you need a hot chamber to print really thick parts. Mm -hmm. If you're printing thick, if you're printing more than five, six, seven outlines or perimeters, the warping is insane. It's just really, really bad. But if you get all that stuff nailed down and tuned in, it's great value right. for money. Yeah. Probably yeah. the best value for money, high temperature material you Probably. can get in my opinion, in terms of price yeah. to strength. You just Kettle have to have a powerful thing. printer yeah. and experience and the willingness to tinker around. Right. So you print this stuff around 370 to 390 on the nozzle, sometimes hotter if you're going faster, depending on the machine you're on, the bed, you want that thing as high as you can. You can do some small parts at 120, but we recommend 160 minimum on the bed and as hot in the chamber as you can possibly get. 
up to 180, 190, 200. So yeah. you're gonna print usually around 20 to 30 millimeters a second. It's not that fast. If you want good layer adhesion, you know, you gotta permeate down through the layers. There's yeah, techniques for going really fast and really hot or going slower and, you know, lower. Uh, and both can work for different situations. It really depends on the geometry of the part. Uh, that's where we see the biggest challenge is this part's gonna print different from this part. I remember when I tried to 3D print an actual bed surface on a 3D printer. Yeah. I used a 0.8 nozzle at like one point, yeah. Yeah. Printed it slow. It, it worked fine. I've also printed this stuff at like 65. Um, it'll do what you ask it to do. You just have to be patient with it. That's the, that's the thing. Um, yeah. You want to burn it? Yeah. All right. Where's those pliers? Uh, there you go. Be my guess. You want to torch it? What? Let's see how this stuff burns. Out. It's gone. Selfish. Out. That's crazy. This is on like max too. <laughs> I didn't want it to drip down on you. And it's cold enough to touch. Yeah. yeah. I love that smell. Do not smell your molten tone. We have to experiment. We have to experience this for you and then tell you what happened. That's how we work. Awesome. All right. My ass out. Can we do one more time? Oh, yeah. Oh. And it's out. <laughs> anyway, overall, just a great material. Really awesome. Uh, very strong, chemical resistant, heat resistant, just about everything across the board. Very difficult to print. If you guys got any questions or if we didn't answer anything in this video, you want to know something specific, go ahead and ask us down in the comments below. We'd love hearing about your applications, your ideas, your questions. If you want us to print something crazy out of it, we did some uh, rocket nozzles. Go check it out. Joel's video, uh, he's got a video where he's actually running over a Benchy that we printed in Ultra 1010. It's a sinking Benchy. That's awesome. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. We'll have a lot more stuff like this coming out, and we will have an entire set of benches that we're going to burn and test and smash, do all sorts of stuff with very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button, and have a positive rest of your day. See you on the next video.